This should be an incredible Jeez. matchup. I mean, going for the cover. And a kick out, not even close on that. How in the world? Great agility. Here's the headbutt. is all about the intimidation. He's a man of few words, but actions like holding that United Kingdom Championship in his teeth as he glares at his competition down the ramp sends a message to his opposition. Yeah, that message is, you're about to become the recipient of a pummeling courtesy of the Bruiser Ring. Bringing back up Pete Dunne's penchant for intimidation, I'm fine with sending a message during his entrance, but his attacks before and after the bell rings just cross the line. I disagree, Saxton. While most of Dunn's United Kingdom Championship Tournament's opposition were excited for the opportunity and happy to be in front of an English crowd, the Bruiserweight showed everyone he wanted it more with those brutal beatdowns. Watch out! The face destroyed. Drop kick. Great athleticism. I say every superstar remembers their first match on Raw, but for Pete Dunne, Byron, his first match has a little extra special meaning as it took place in his home country of England. Well, not only that, Michael, but Pete Dunne also walked away from that match with a decisive victory over the WWE Cruiserweight Champion at the time. Pretty impressive, if you ask me. Harsh impact. We already established that Pete Dunne was successful in his first Raw match, but to me, the biggest takeaway from that was that the 23-year-old didn't exhibit an ounce of nervousness in front of a sellout crowd of nearly 15,000 in his home country on a big show like Monday Night Raw. That's because Don oozes confidence. He was dominant that night because he knows it's just a matter of time before he'll be back on Raw and in the main event, most likely. <laughs> when this guy's on, look out. This could end it. Wham! I don't care who you are, that'll knock you out. He's really looking to prove a point here. Championship on the line. Oh, he turns it around. Oof. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. The challenger not in a great... He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Elbow finds its mark. With the damage sustained by Dunn, he could be on his way out. He may not even know where he's at at this point, which is not a good look when your championship is on the line. The Bruiserweight is going to have a tough time punching his way back into this. No, he reverses it. Boom, what impact. From behind. Dodges a bullet there. Harsh impact. Oh boy, he is rolling.
Here we go. Wham! I don't care who you are. That'll knock you out. Oh, man, the champ looks absolutely out of it right now. It's safe to say he had his opponent well scouted there. Brilliant analysis, Saxton. Oh! He's got him covered. I don't know too many other guys that would have been able to kick out of that. I don't know where he's finding the strength to stay in this one. Can he do it here? And the champ kicks out. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Gentleman's drop kick and not a hair out of place. This one is penny predicament. And he got a near fall out of it. Nice kick out. These superstars have tried everything. They have something left in their arsenal. They have to, but can they dig down deep enough to find it? He's Boom! What a drop kick by Gentleman Jack. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? And that's twice now. Yes! Unreal performance. Here is your winner and the new WWE United Kingdom Champion, Gentleman Jack Gallagher. Wow. Huge pinfall win here tonight. A bruiserweight Pete Dunne always has more than one plan.